Hello, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, explain move target out of bounds exception in Selenium automation. Let me answer this question with practical demonstration. So when do you get this move target out of bounds exception in Selenium automation? So when you run your automation scripts and if you get this exception, that exception indicates that the targets provided is outside of the size of the window, okay? For example, if you take this move to location command from actions class in Selenium automation to this move to action, move to location uh, method, if you are providing some targets which are outside of the size of the window, okay? Some sizes, uh, X and Y sizes you will give here, okay? That height and width, if they are outside of the size of the window, okay? Within the size of the window, it's fine. But outside the size of the window, if you provide in the move to location, then what happens? We'll get this kind of exception. There's only one command. There may be other commands which also give you the same exception. But uh, for example, in this session, I'm going to practical demonstrate this move to location command in Selenium automation, where we are going to specify the targets that is uh, height and width uh, targets or X and Y targets, which are outside the size, which are not fitting the size of the window, okay? So first I will show you what if uh, these targets provided inside this method or command of Selenium are within the size of the window. So you'll not get any exception, but if you give the targets, X and Y targets are height and width targets, which are outside, which are not fitting the size of the window, then you are going to get this exception. So let's practically see what happens. So here we already have some Selenium automation code, okay, which will open the Chrome browser, then maximize the browser. Here we need to open the application URL. I'll take the sample application URL that is omai.blogspot.com. So once you copy this uh, here and paste it here, now once that is done, okay, once it is done, now I would like to move my mouse, okay, I would like to move my mouse onto some location on this uh, window. If that uh, location, if that location, it may be element location or whatever the location, if it is uh, within the size of this window, whatever the window size you are seeing within the size of the window, if it is there, that's fine. But if it is outside the size of the window, then you are going to get the exception. So first, uh, to move my mouse within the size of the window, I'll just uh, create an object for the actions class. Okay, actions class will contain in Selenium automation actions class will contain all the predefined methods which will simulate the or automate the mouse and keyboard actions. Okay. So hold the mouse on this actions class and import this from Selenium library here, pass driver here to overcome this error. And then write down actions dot move to location. This command you have to take. Here we have to give X and Y coordinates. If this X and Y coordinates are fitting within the size of the window, no problem. For example, if I give 510, 510 easily will fit into the size of the window. Okay, X is five and uh, Y is 10. That is uh, horizontally five and vertically 10. This is, there's not going to be a problem, but if any command of actions class to work, we have to end that command with uh, dot perform. Okay, dot perform. So move to location dot click dot perform, whatever the commands you can give, okay? You're, you're performing, multi, you're writing multiple commands here, mouse, for, mouse commands. This will move the mouse and this will click on whatever the location, okay? So if you have multiple commands, you can uh, write dot build dot perform, okay? Run the code, right click, run as Java application. And you see that the script will run. It will not give you any exception because the mouse is being moved to a location, X and Y coordinate location, which is within the size of the window. 510 is not a big deal, right? So let's see what happens if I give 510. So I give 510. So within the window means no problem. So just go and see here. I didn't get any exception because within the size, it went to some location and clicked it. There was no element at that location. So nothing happened, okay? But what if I give here some uh, 1000, 2000 kind of thing, this X and Y coordinate positions are outside the size of the browser window, okay, of this particular application. In this situation, if the mouse need to move to some location which is uh, bigger than the size, okay, which is outside the size of the browser window, in that case, if you are trying to perform click operation, then definitely this statement is going to result in an exception known as move target out of bounds exception. So let me run this script. And this time you are going to get an exception. That is move target out of bounds exception we are going to get because we have given the X and Y coordinates to this move to location command in Selenium automation, which are not fitting the size of the browser window, which are outside the size of the browser window.
the C here, it's trying to be on an X and Y coordinate uh, positions which are outside the size of the browser window. And in this situation, we are going to get an exception. Earlier, we didn't get exception, but this time we got an exception because, okay, we gave the X and Y coordinate positions which are not fitting the size of the browser window, which are not within the size of the browser window. So hence, we got move target out of bounds exception. So, and at which line? At the last line, I told you, right? This highlighted line, 16th line, we got this exception. So, hope guys, you got the uh, answer for this question with practical demonstration in this session. So, that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.